Hello guys, I am Ramon and in this video I want to talk about how we prepare for a war. For example, how we set our defense, what other things we need to do for our account to be ready for a war. After all, here in Europe it's winter time, in my server international seems that soon we'll start some server war, there are rumors that lanes and coalition will unite together to to start a server war for defeating the new power in server uh, neutral alliance imperium so we don't know if this war will start how many alliances will be involved and i think it's time for all to prepare for war so let's start first for how we set our castles. If you have a castle well defended with strong castellan and many defenders, you just can set it one flank, for example, like this. Uh, this is a standard setting, 75 milli troops on the flank, when, uh, three bombs and one sealed. In case you have for your outposts or you don't have so much defense, then you will need to, for protecting your attack troops there, you will need to set three flanks like this. This is so called anti sneaky setup. Anti sneaky setup uh, mostly use like full range once before and full, full shields like this on our flanks also in front but i said this is not very effective because if it's in case of wave and your attackers will use shields with no need to use fast troops just regular troops and shield will pass the wall easy from just one wave and, and if if he sends small attacks like this on, on all your outputs or multiple targets will be easy to pass wall, reach courtyard and if you have strong commanders with high courtyard will kill a lot of defense also attackers very easy so best is don't use full range use mixed melee also range also use mixed tools wall tools bombs or shields Another thing we should do is to second one to clean inventory. Always have a clean inventory because it's very annoying when you need to set a castellan and your inventory is full and you can just can't find the right castellan or something like that. Like that. Also, if a jumper during a wave, you, when you are offline, will jump in your account is and have to set five, four castle in less than less than 10 minutes will be very hard for him so make his job more easy by cleaning all the time your inventory keep it clean keep it set at everywhere all castle all outposts also the right castellan for each castle depending how much defense you have there and then will be more easy for jumper also for the player to set it in case of a wave uh, third point that I want to talk about is to be part of all social groups or other groups that your alliance have it. For example, WhatsApp, Viber, Line, some using uh, some websites for this, which are more secure, of course. But as long as you are part of social groups of your alliance, you can be announced when you have attack or if something go wrong or is need is need you to be online there for anything your teammates can announce you and you can go can go online during wars of course you know maybe not all the time can be online if you have incoming or maybe not a jumper will have time to jump in your account so 
to keep safe your troops you should always use a safe house to have an alliance when you go offline we should have a safe house here looks like this for those who don't know it's an account with bird with protection activated where you can station your troops for six hours for 12 hours you just send the troops there for six hours if you go offline and then your attack troops are for safety also if you don't have in your castles many attack troops while you are offline uh, in this way you can avoid to be attacked because usually the castle where are many stationed and many many attack troops will be attacked more times that a castle where is only defense or is well defended the the five point that i wanted to talk about is depending if you are a strong attacker you should try to take as much as you can the war titles like feared or invincible even or very more titles to have more power while you are attacking if you are defending if you like more to defend or just you are not so much for attacking other players then you can just recruit defense everywhere switch your hull in defense mode and your account is safe you are there just for helping your alliance with support when it's needed and that's all Of course, you need to have defense everywhere, all your castle to be very good protected. So you can avoid to be burned easy by your opponent. And the last point that sh should we all do is to open Stormy Island Castle to expand it there also to upgrade barracks for having an extra castle where you can can recruit more troops and usually here you, for best management is just recruit defense troops all you need because this is very the cost of those troops are very low and in this way when you need to transfer it in other kingdoms won't cost you so much gold it's useless to to recruit attack troops attract attack troops here because that will cost you much gold when you try to transfer them all the time so that's all my point that i will say will that everyone should do it of course there are many more small things that you can do to improve your account or to prepare it for war for example even to arrange your commanders many are farmers or like to play more even so then you, they have many uh, npc commander which are not very use, useful during war so you need to take those commanders down and use just war commanders everywhere if you are attacking a lot if not just keep it there and hit towers or i don't know what you do with so much nipuka commanders because there are really a lot of them i used to sell them all because because mostly are useful i keep just five sets of nipuka commanders everything others are just war commanders all prepared for wars all tuned all tuned also I, I use a lot of sneaky commanders and all kind of combo that you can make like i show you here from different sets combine it also from different gems mostly of these sneaky commanders can be used also with fast troops also with normal regular troops and regular tools like shields mount shields tools like that even if you are low speed you just use small 
attacks like two waves, three waves, and you can hit multiple targets that are not very good defended with this type of commanders. If they have enough 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 courtyard power and will break easy the wall if you have high wall reduction also high mouth reduction you can do really serious damages with such such commanders and of course the strongest commanders for use to attack close targets and with full attacks that's all that I can say about preparing for a war. At the end of this video, I want to ask your opinion or what do you think about this possibly server war that is coming in our server. For those who don't know already or don't hear the rumors like lanes, coalitions, is allied now with the coalition and will try to go for a server war or first will play by the rules and will start a one versus one fight against the new format neutral alliance imperium which is kind of strongly and most best organized alliance in our server far now so they will so if they start a server war, I'm curious about the authors neutral alliance in server, what they what them think about this, about breaking the rules of one versus one. They will join to the server war. If they will join, please write me. Feel free to write me which side you will join. You will join Imperium side. To the neutral ones or you will join to lanes led by storms i am already talking with more friends about this they know my personal opinion i don't want to talk say it here in video but i will say you also in game i will answer to any questions if it's needed and we all hope that war will start around so we will have more fun because hitting players warring with other alliances is more fine for this game also more brings more benefits for all for everyone that's hitting fucking events so many events these days in this game which have no sense is really boring also it's not very constructive for the players a lot of unuseful things here around just wasting time for nothing so better fight each other burn each other <laughs> it's more fun that and if a server war will come and i will decide to join myself to this server war i don't know yet We'll talk more with my alias, with my players, what they think also, what they want. But I will keep continuing to make more videos about attacking players, about defending your castle when you're having comings. If the war starts around, I will have this opportunity to make even more videos for those who like it or want to learn something more from the ones who fight at higher level the most experienced players we will fight all together and i will show you if it's anything you want to know more or want to be more specific on some things if i forget something to mention in this video about how to prepare for war please write me in game messages or even comments at this video if you dare it and see you around